Installation of all ESPI UPS units is quick and easy. We can give you a few pointers that technicians have discovered after installing thousands of units. It works best to work from the ONT back toward the utility power source. This keeps any inadvertent shorts from occurring during wire stripping, cutting, or installation. Do not cut any wires with power present and short circuits are likely. Install the gray enclosure wherever it is convenient for you within 50 feet of the ONT and 115 feet of the utility power supply. Two to four screws in a stud or non-drywall surface hold the unit secure to the wall. Feed the multi-conductor cable from the ONT up through the left opening in the gray exterior enclosure and your 16 gauge two conductor cable through the right entrance port. Strip the outer insulation on the multi-conductor cable 6 to 8 inches. There is not enough room on the round jacketed cable between the battery and the enclosure. Strip the conductors in the multi-conductor cable 3 8 inches. Strip the two conductor 3 8 inches. When installing the wires, the electronic circuit enclosure is not attached to the battery. Install conductors from the multi-conductor cable in the green terminal block starting with the large conductors and working across the terminal block in order. The terminal block is marked for the correct conductors. Pull back the orange tab on each of the spring cage connection fully and push the wire in the opening. Release the orange tab and pull back slightly on each wire to seat the grip on each wire as you move across the connector. The spring cage tab can be pulled back with a fingernail or small screwdriver. Install the two 16 gauge conductors for the power source. The positive and negative terminal is marked on the battery backup in the AC-DC power converter. Red on positive, black on negative. The battery is easily installed by placing the electronic circuit enclosure over the battery and sliding the battery into place. It will not go on incorrectly. Turn the battery and electronics around. Slide the electronic circuit enclosure and battery into the two slots in the enclosure. Push the cables up into the enclosure so the outer jacket near the bottom of the battery. There should be plenty of wire to allow the unit to be removed and the battery replaced in the future. Install strain reliefs to the cable so the wires are not pulled from the unit. Connect the red and black wires to the AC-DC power converter. If you don't install the converter in a GIF outlet, the converter will accept a retaining screw to hold the unit in the outlet. The converter should be marked for telephone equipment as some consumers may have unplugged the unit, not realizing what it is for, and it may be many feet from the accompanying equipment. When the AC-DC converter is plugged in, a green light will show if you have AC power. The green light will show on the front of the Titan unit, and your ONT should power up. After a few installations, you will be as good as Caleb.